Welcome, <coughs> excuse me, welcome to Monday's meditation. And uh, it seems like every time I press the start button, my pictures move. So I'm just readjusting that. Um, <coughs> just in case you keep your eyes open and you can read the words, the positive aspects on chicory. So, um, welcome to Monday's meditation on the Remedy Chicory, where I will connect with the energy of the chicory flower and hopefully bring you to a place of understanding about that energy. And I'm just going to leave the picture like that because it really doesn't seem to want to stand up to let you see all the text, so I'll leave it like that. Um, so hopefully you're already sitting somewhere uh, peacefully and uh, comfortably, and I invite you now to just gently become aware of your breath. Breathing in and breathing out, just gently becoming aware of your breath. Noticing its rate and its rhythm. Noticing its depth, whether it feels rough or smooth. On the in-breath, noticing whether it's cool or whether it's warm as the air passes through your nostrils. Perhaps beginning to notice the pause point between the in-breath and the out-breath. Breathing in, you know you're breathing in. Breathing out, you know you're breathing out. You're in this one present moment, one moment at a time. There's nowhere else to be, nothing else to do. You've chosen to listen to this meditation for this short amount of time. To spend it here with yourself and with me. Just acknowledging any thoughts that are coming in and just trying to let them fade into the background as you focus on your breath. Just noticing your internal weather pattern with that breath. We're not changing anything, you're just noticing. Noticing whether it, your breath is fast, whether it's shallow, whether it's raspy. Just observations in this present moment. And if you haven't already, I invite you to close your eyes. Just becoming aware of your eyes behind your eyelids. Becoming aware of your ears on the side of your head. Becoming aware of the top of your head, your temples, your forehead. Becoming aware of your cheekbones, your jaw, your lips, your teeth, your tongue inside your mouth. Becoming aware of the back of your neck, noticing your shoulders and how they feel. Allowing your awareness to spread down through your arms and your elbows and your wrists, noticing your thumbs and each finger through your index to your small finger. Noticing the palms of your hands and becoming aware of where you've put your hands for your meditation. Noticing your spine running down the middle of your back. Becoming aware of your shoulder blades and your lower back. And just noticing any tension in your back or your shoulders. Again, you're just noticing. We're not changing anything. You're just paying attention. And allowing your attention to go down your front now. Noticing your chest, your rib cage, your diaphragm. Noticing your tummy. And then becoming aware of your hips and your pelvis and the angle that you're sitting at. Maybe adjusting your position if you notice any uh, discomfort. Noticing your thighs, your knees, your shins, your calves, your ankles. Becoming aware of your feet, all parts of your feet, your heels, the balls of your feet, your instep, the top of your feet and noticing your toes, from your big toe right through to your little toe, on each foot. And just noticing where your feet are. Are they curled up underneath you? Are they on the floor? Just be aware of the pull of gravity, which either will be um, coming in at the base of your spine or through your feet. Just noticing where that gravity pull is for you. 
and perhaps a symbol places your feet and the base of your spine. But just know that you're safe and protected and anchored as you do your meditation. And I invite you now to imagine, okay, to switch off your logical mind and allow your higher self to come through. And that might feel like your imagination. So I want you to picture yourself on a bridge. And the bridge has water underneath it. So just give yourself a few moments to become aware of your surroundings, where your bridge is. Is it a large bridge? Is it a small bridge? What's your bridge made of? Is it in the middle of nowhere? Or is it somewhere populated? Again, just allow those facts, those uh, pictures to come in. And if you don't see in pictures, you know, if you are struggling to see yourself on a bridge, just tell yourself the story. Just tell yourself the story of being on that bridge and what it's like. What are you surrounded by? Is it daytime? Is it nighttime? Are there stars above? Or is the sun shining? Are you wearing a coat? Or are you in shorts and a t-shirt? All those little details, just allow them to come in in your imagination. Whatever comes in is right for you. But on that bridge beside you, I want you to find a pile of little sticks. Just down by your feet, there's a pile of little sticks. And each little stick represents times in your life that you have had expectations of people. Perhaps you have done something for them. You have been kind, you have been generous, you have done something in service of them. And each of those sticks represents a situation or a scenario where you gave of yourself to uh, others. And I want you to pick up each stick individually and think about one of those situations. And as you drop it into the water, if you can remember how you felt um, after doing the service for other people, whether you felt um, that you needed gratitude, whether you felt hurt because there was no gratitude, whether you felt completely wonderful because you had been of service and had no thoughts of any uh, gratitude from people. Chicory is the remedy for people who have expectations of others. They, they need to be needed and they need other people to show appreciation for them. So I want you to take each stick and I want you to think of the situation and as you drop it into the water, I want you just to think and remember about how you felt. We're just trying to get in touch with um, our internal need of others and whether that is applying at the moment, whether it's applicable at the moment, whether it was applicable in the past. You're just thinking of situations where you've given and remembering whether you needed something in return or whether you were perfectly okay with just giving selflessly. So just for a couple of minutes and if you run out of sticks, there are more on the other side of your feet and you won't run out of them because they're there. But if you are done with throwing them over, just spend the time in silence and connecting with yourself and how you feel about whether you are needy of others. So just for a couple of minutes, I'll leave you there in silence with your sticks going over the bridge into the water.
Hopefully you've used all the sticks that you need to use for all those occasions where you gave yourself in service, gave of yourself in service. And now I want you to take a stroll across the bridge to the other side. Um, not lengthways, but across it widthways, so that you are just on the other side watching the sticks come under the bridge. A bit like Pooh Bear and his Pooh Sticks, if you've seen that scene from Winnie the Pooh. Winnie watches the sticks come back out from under the bridge. And as your sticks appear and they float off down the river or the lake or whatever you're above, I want you to let go of whatever expectation or whatever need that you had from anyone concerned in the situations that those sticks represent. I want you to connect with the love inside yourself, feeling self-assured, knowing that you know that you are worthy of love yourself without needing other people to tell you that you're worthy of love. Letting go of any expectations you had in the past of people showing that they loved you or cared about you with their gratitude, their thanks, their show of affection. You no longer need that. You have all you need inside of you. You're warm, you're kind. You choose to give because you want to give, not because you have to give or because you hope to get something in return. As you watch those sticks float away, are there any neediness to float away with it? And coming out from under the bridge are these beautiful little cornflower coloured flowers. Chickadee. Lots of beautiful cornflower coloured chickadee. Just floating down alongside and behind your sticks. accompanying your expectations and transforming them now so that you can now in the future be selfless and if you feel that you can't be then chicory is the remedy that will help you it will help you to be able to give without needing anything from anybody And I want you now to just take one last look around you at wherever you are. Noticing that the sticks have now disappeared from view. And bring yourself back to your space, your chair, your bed, wherever you are. And bring your attention to your feet, your toes. I want you to wiggle your toes. I want you to notice your feet and notice your ankles. And I want you to become aware of your legs, your knees, your thighs. Become aware of your hips and any contact you have with the surface. Noticing your pelvis. Noticing your spine running up the middle of your back. Your shoulder blades. Your shoulders. Do they feel any more relaxed now than they did at the beginning of the meditation? Noticing your arms, your elbows, your wrists, your hands. Are they still in the same place, your hands? Or did they move during the meditation? Noticing your tummy and your chest and the rise and fall of each when you have your next breath. Noticing your neck and your throat, becoming aware of your head, your eyes behind your eyelids, your teeth and your tongue inside your mouth. And bringing your attention back to your breath, going in at the tip of your nose. Breathing in and breathing out. Breathing in, you know you're breathing in. And breathing out, you know you're breathing out. And just taking three deeper breaths than you have been. Really deep ones to reconnect 
with your body. And when you've done that, just gently opening your eyes, taking in your surroundings of your space, wiggling your fingers, wiggling your toes, wiggling your ears and smiling. And just gently reintroducing yourself into your day. When you get going, just gently move, feel your feet on the floor and your connection with the earth. And make sure you have a little drink of water so you can feel grounded. Thank you so much for joining me today and have a wonderful day. Namaste.